Oh, jeez. He smells funny. Ah, oh, the zoo. Smack dab in the middle of wonderful New York City. Look how happy everyone is. Who wouldn't love this place? Well, to be honest, me. The food, the balloons, the animals. That's all well and good if you're a little kid, but I'm just not sure if this is where I belong. I mean, I'm turning 10 years old today. There's got to be something more out there than this. And you know, maybe today I'll find... Hey, hey, Alex! Just the line I wanted to see. Come on, Marty. I remembered it's your birthday, okay? You don't have to butter me up. I was being sincere, man. It's good to see you. Okay, you caught me. I got you something, but what with all my rehearsing, I haven't had time to wrap it yet. Four shows a day. You gotta get into character four times. That'll take its toll, sure. Yeah, four a day. And with all due respect for what you do and your whole treadmill shtick, it's not the easiest thing in the world remaking myself from scratch after each performance. But seriously, man, you've hit the big 1-0. Only comes once. So, you want me to run you through your routine? Actually, a living audience does kind of help me focus my chi. Uh, just stand still right there. Perfect, Marty. Perfectly stationary. Thanks. Press the jump button to... I think by now we're up to speed on jumping there, Evil Knievel. Okay then, get jumping. Find your three power cards so we can move on. Well, looky here. It's that overly pampered lion. Let's show him who the real kings of New York are. Someone want a ranch dressing? <laughs> you can't do your act with those pigeons raining on your parade. Use your attack button to roar and scare them off. Now, show them who's king. Get on your pedestal and do the regal pose bit. The only king, don't let those flying rats tell you different. Looks like my work here is done. Maybe you ought to swing by Glorious. You look like you need a little pick-me-up. Nobody cheers up a zebra like a hippo, right? I'll see you tonight at the birthday thing. Now, if you'll excuse me. I pop enough of these balloons, I talk funny. Maybe Melman can cheer me up. No matter how bad I think things are, they're always somehow worse for him. Marty, what's wrong? Is it contagious? What's wrong? Well, I've just been feeling a little... Oh, things are going okay with me. Except, of course, for the germs. Oh, and then there's the microbes. And then there's the fact that I've been waiting for my medication for the last 38 minutes! Oh, Marty, this is the end! How can you stand it? Okay. I'll see you later, Mel. Happy birthday, Marty. Thanks, Glo. Look, sister, are we gonna race or just get in touch with our inner angst all day? They want to race you? I know. Do they know about the... Nope. So they're full of... To the beaks. You heard the zebra. Time to put your money where your mouth is. In point of fact, we have neither money nor mouths. But if you're really up for a race, we accept your challenge. Marty, would you mediate? On your mark, get set. Did I say move yet? I don't even close. Okay, maybe it was a little close, but the point is, you still beat those bird brains brains in. Awesome, Glow. Looks like my work here is done. Guess I'll kick it on back to the curb. Aw, oh, Marty. Don't be blue-striped. Chin up. It is your birthday, after all. What you guys up to? That's classified. Classified? To whom? Looks more like you're just hanging around by a hole in the wall. Absolutely not. We're in the midst of a covert training operation, trying to bring the private here up to speed in the ancient military art of fishing. Now that I think about it, the operation really isn't so covert. Would you care to observe? Sure. Beats anything else I got going. All right, private. It's time to prove yourself in the field. Move your pole left and right. Once you're ready to drop that lure, hold down the action button, and when you want to reel the fish in, just release the action button. Look up and down to control how far you throw the lure. Simple, right? Well, let's see you catch some fish. Got some chops as a fisherman, son. But war sometimes requires creativity. Snare a stuffed lion decoy. May come in handy later. That was some first-class fishing. You've completed your training.
Those penguins are cooking something up. Hmm. Wonder if Melman's cooled off enough to... Sup, Melman? Hey, Marty. I forgot to wish you happy birthday earlier. Sometimes I get wrapped up in my own problems. My basic hygienic needs are going unmet. Say what? I don't do medical speak. My biohazard disinfectant team is late. Again. You just can't get good help. And they're unionized, so just try to complain. Did you ever think about cleaning the cage yourself? I don't even think you have a biohazard disinfectant team. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I guess I could try to clean things up around here. I'm not afraid of a little... dirt. At last, the cleaning crew. See, Marty? See, see, see? Yep, I'll never doubt you again, Melman. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm more concerned with how the chaos affected my immune system. I'm sure it will recover. It's your mental state that you should be more worried about. The zoo is driving us crazy. I just have to get out to the wild. Thanks, Melman. Time to get back to my place and eat some of that fine Kentucky bluegrass for lunch. And dinner. And dessert. Marty. Uh, speaking. I've heard some rumors about your supposed disposition to the confines of your brick-laden cell. One more time? Different? You want out? Uh, yeah, I do. Welcome aboard the Freedom Express, my monochromatic friend. I'm here to spring you. All you gotta do is stay close to me at all times, and do not panic. I just have one question. If we're trying to sneak out of here without the guards knowing, why are you yelling? That is an excellent question, Stripes. Let me get back to you on that. Here's the situation. The entire zoo is buttoned up tight by a series of locked gates. Each key opens the gate with the matching animal icon. Use the keys at the terminals to open the gate. The first gate we need to open is Gate Ostrich. The Zone Ostrich key is located in the janitor's shed, but the only way in there is a small crawl space. You don't know how to crawl yet, but we can fix that. Three of our operatives have smuggled in power cards. Each operative in sequence will give you their cards. Collect all three and you'll be able to crawl into that shed and get that key. Uh, hey, is it time for me to do my special trick? Darnell here has been storing a power card safely in his belly for the last several days. Now the plan is to have him spit it out. You'll need it and two more to gain your next ability. Uh, you sure he's gonna spit it out of his mouth, right? Marty, we better hope so. Okay, here goes. Um, hey Nick. Skipper says you might have a little something for me. <laughs> He's right! <laughs> I got what you need! Hey, I'm looking for... Uh, are you okay? Yeah, man, I'm great. Fantastic. It's just like, I've got this horn, you know? And I just have to keep charging. But I'm not really charging anything. There's really no purpose to this action. It's just instinct. I don't have a choice in the matter. This is all a little deep for me right now. Oh, no problem. I know what you're here for. You want a power card. Well, here you go. I want to consider using those trash cans to your advantage. Kick them at the bubbling guards and watch the slapstick hilarity ensue. Hey, what's all that commotion? I should probably get back to my post. <laughs> hey, what's all that commotion? I should probably get... Using your crawl ability, you can duck behind those hedges up there and the guards won't even be able to see you. I'll be... A don't say it, don't say it, I've heard it all before. Heard what all before? Very funny. Yes, my nose is slightly gargantuan, and yes, I'm very uncomfortable with that. It's a serious medical condition that affects my entire species to varying degrees. Yes, I am getting a nose job, then I'll make sure to point out all your shortcomings. Settle down, pal. I'm not making fun of your nose. I'm just trying to get out of here without any of these guards seeing me. 
Well, since you're not here to destroy what little self-image I have left, I suppose I should tell you that if you kick those poles, you will activate those safari noises. The guards will have to leave their posts and investigate. Hey! What's all that commotion? That's a sound pole making noise, all right. If a guard is too far away from a sound pole, he won't hear it. You will know when a pole is in range because the light on its control panel will turn green. In some cases, you will have to lure a guard from one pole to another. Hey! Hey, you! You're headed directly into the path of danger, my friend. What are you talking about? It's the Zoo Hunter, that nut they hired to run nighttime security. When everyone's gone home, he makes like a fortress thingy out of hay bales in front of the main gate. And watch out for his heavy-duty tranquilizers. You'll need to keep your head down unless you want a quick nighty night. Right on. Thanks. A ruckus? I hate ruckuses. That's a sound pole making noise, all right. Who's messing with the sound poles? Better not be those kids again. That's a sound pole making noise, all right. Now, how do you work these things? I should probably get back to my post. Hey, what's all that commotion? I should probably...